Happy Monday, everybody. Greg here. Hope everybody's having a good day. So, alright guys, today, uh, today I wanted to share my thoughts on something that's going to happen, uh, this Wednesday, August the 28th, I believe, that, um, Something's going to happen this Wednesday in the rock world that is going to get a lot of people excited and a lot of people, once this announcement comes on Wednesday, a lot of people in the rock and music world, like I just said, will be excited. And, and the, uh, and the skeptics will officially be able to, um, start having their, uh, ever-present opinion, because, guys, um, on Sunday night, uh, on all of Lincoln Park's, uh, social media accounts, um, a countdown clock was released that that is scheduled to end this Wednesday, and, um, and, and, and if you guys have been following this whole, uh, um, rum rumblings of, uh, of, of Lincoln Park getting back together to, uh, to, to honor the legacy of Chester Bennington, um, this countdown clock seems to have all but confirmed um, the, the rumors that yes, guys, uh, it's now unfortunately been seven years since uh, Chester passed away, um, um, and, uh, and and ever since. Um, Mike and the rest of the members of Lincoln Park uh, did their uh, did their now iconic um, tribute show to honor Chester at the uh, Hollywood Bowl. Um, ever since that last performance, people have wondered: Could we ever see, or would we see, the members of Lincoln Park try? Tried to reunite with all surviving members, and of course, honor, honor the legacy of their friend. And more important, and, and more than that, guys, obviously honor the legacy of their friend, and as well as honor the memory and legacy of of, of one. Of one of the uh, greatest folk, folk, rock and roll vocalists to have ever uh, graced us with his talent. Um, yeah, guys, now, like I said, whatever Lincoln Park um, is announcing on Wednesday does appear to finally be some sort of a re. Of a, of a reunion because um, Mike, Joe, Phoenix, and uh, and uh, Chetters, uh, White Delinda ha have shared the countdown um, on their social media platforms as well, as well as two major festivals, one being Welcome to Rockville, which is obviously held in Florida every single year for, um, 2025, and, uh, and, and the other festival, which uh, Lincoln Park has more significant with, um, of course, Germany's legendary Rock and Ring Festival, which, uh, 
which the band has headlined many times. Um, now, of course, guys, the uh, rumors of uh, Lincoln Park getting back together um, actually started from a comment that the uh, lead singer of um, a a another band whose name I'm not going to say, not because I can't pronounce it, because I can actually, but, but, but. But, but I'm afraid of something going wrong in here. Okay, it's, um, Jack, the uh, lead singer of, uh, of this, of Orgy that, uh, that originally started the rumor that, um, that, that Lincoln Park was getting back, was reforming in some capacity. Eh? Hopefully with, with all remaining, remaining surviving members. Um, with with a female singer, although um, uh, although 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 no name for that female vocalist, what, wherever wherever heavenly hinted at or floated around, except for um, evanescent um front woman Amy Lee, and uh, and uh, Amy and. And Amy did comment on her name being floated around, as uh, she would be interested in, in in helping the guys out. But 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 obviously she would only be able to do it part time due due to her commitment with her own band, Evanescent. Um, now obviously, guys, whoever does end up standing in for uh, Chester will obviously. Well, obviously, as, um, well, obviously, as Mike has stated, ne 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 never be able to take the place of, of, of what Jeter's legacy and role is, is in that band. Um, nobody else, okay, well, well, well Probably, probably nobody else can or or would even come close to match the match the energy, the passion, and most importantly the power behind Judge's legendary vocals and the passion that he sang each each and every live show that Lincoln Park ever did, including sad, sadly his last in the uh, Birmingham, England on July 6th, and again, guys, um, obviously, once again, as we all know, whenever the main lead, whenever the main lead singer of a band, uh, passes away or leaves for whatever reason, it, it, the, it, the, the repeat, members of that band ever do come back together with somebody, obviously the comparison are, are going to run wild, but the, but, the, but the thing that we can take comfort is nobody will ever be able to replace what the, what what they brought to Lincoln Park as them as their lead singer and co, and as their ma main lead singer, I mean, come on, guys, nobody will ever be able to sing "Crawling," breaking the habit, um, or, or uh, leave out all the what, leave out all the rest, the same way that Judge did. And of course, nobody will ever be able to match his, his legendary ability to scream. But 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 also, guys, let's not forget the the way that Judge connected with each with 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 the audience, especially 
when he did have something to say was also iconic. I mean, come on, guys. Um. During one more light, J Jester took took um sing singing in the crowd and with the audience again to to a whole another private level as he always did with 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 singing one more light and growing in the audience with us. And of course, guys, that is something that only people like Chester, like like Chris, like like Scott, would do. That 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 there are there are not too many uh, performers that. Felt as comfortable with their fans and truly, and truly wanted to maintain the special connection the way Chester and 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 the other gentlemen and, and the other singers I just mentioned. Um, now, obviously, guys, um, who what whoever this female singer is, um. We'll, we'll, we'll always have to remember that, that their main goal is obviously to honor, honor the legacy, much like what the, uh, much like what, um, the, uh, much like what, uh, Rex and Phil now are doing with the, uh, with, with the, uh, with, with their new version of Pantera, obviously, guys, in their case, obviously, no, it's not Pantera because it because it won't be because it isn't without Vinny and Dime. And some people can say that that it isn't Lincoln Park without Chester. And and to those of you that think that technically you are correct, but. But the difference is, you guys, the, the way that Mike, Joe, Brad, Phoenix, and Rob conducted that tribute, Joe, it, I feel like is the exact kind of thing and way that they're going to honor Judge now by making sure. His, his presence, his aura, and most of all, and most, and most of all, his energy is still felt by all, all, all those that, that, uh, that, that go to see this, uh, re reunited version of the band. Although, of course, again, I am not saying, guys, that, that I think a bunch of will ever be the same again, be because because it can't be because it's lost its be because it's lost its main main component to its engine. Even though obviously Mike will still be there, obviously guys. Without Chester. A Lincoln Park live performance will never be the same again, as it is with any other band that loses a key member. But I can say with pretty good confidence that that in, that in whatever way this reunited version of the band takes shape, that they will continue to do what they have been doing. And what the motto, and what the message was at Chester's tribute show, which was make Chester proud, and uh, 
And guys, as we all know, the, 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 the band has been great with, um, with, with, re, with releasing material out of the vault with, uh, both, uh, hybrid theories and meteors, um, box sets. Uh, and of course, with uh, one of those containing a uh, one, one, one of the bands uh, unreleased on tonight, I think one of Chitter's best performances obviously being lost. Um, so, so guys, yes, again, this Wednesday is going to be a very interesting day in the world of rock because. Um, be, because whoever is standing in for Chester in, in Lincoln Park obviously will never be able to outshine him. But with 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 Mike with Mike and Chester's um will will. With Mike and Chester's widow overseeing it, as well as, well as with the, the inclusion of Phoenix, Joe, oh, and hopefully Brad and Rob as well. I can get, I can hopefully say that that Lincoln Park will always remember the light. The light that was Chester. Now, now again, guys, this leads me to another point. Like Mike said at the tribute show, there are certain songs that that that. Well, actually, I'm going to rephrase phrase it from what Mike actually said. It's not that he can't do, or that they can't do a song like One Step. Closer ever again. It's just that, um, it it just that, uh, it just that the uh, the new singer will 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 have to find her own way of interpreting uh, Chester's brilliance. And also, guys, this is one thing that. My, that uh, that that Mister Shinoda is going to have to remember as well. I think Mike should should actually sit, do it do exactly what what he was doing on one on one one more lights touring cycle, which is to actually sing is um. Rapping parts actually than rather than actually still try to rap them, especially after a seven year absence. Um, but 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 again, guys, um, we 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 all we all know that uh, that that um Lincoln Park will never be the same again. In, in fact, guys, I, I, I'm I'm actually more, more of a fan of what Chester brought to the band in terms of uh, of that rock and metal type of stuff. I'm actually not a fan of 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 the uh, songs that Mike rapped heavily on. It, Except, but, but guys, again, either way, uh, Lincoln Park has something special coming for it on Wednesday, so stay tuned. Have a good one.